What's good, y'all? It's the answer. We back with another one, man. Troy Ave was on no jumper. Who made that happen? I give you one guess. We're going to find out exactly how it went down. He went on that West Coast run. Y'all probably seen the video on the channel about that last week in regards to how uh, Wack was going to put in a good word. Also, we're going to talk about did he violate... Did he make the right decision by getting on the stand? We're going to break all that down. His girlfriend, Wolf, is on here as well. Let's get to the content, y'all. Whatever they talking about, can't get to none of this. And Troy Ave, who just took the stand, how did Troy Ave get to the... Man, how he do that? Maybe they think that he really about to sit down. Somebody made it happen for him. I mean, uh, you got you can only think one person for that. Think, nah, maybe he had a publicist. Ah, uh, nah, that publicist they go away. Mr. Wack 100. Mr. Wack 100. Shout out to Troy Yav. Shout out to Wolf from the trenches. Push the button. You ain't got a woman around you who ain't going to add to your strength. Who going to continue to cripple you and make you weak. You might want to get away from her before you end up in a wheelchair. But look, Caddy, so let me ask you, Caddy. Look, bro. I, hey, Troy Ave, he was on the West, right? I looked out. They say I don't with the West East Coast. I looked out. I got Troy on no jumper. L.A. Leakers, bootleg cab, and J. Cruz midday show. The biggest show, the most traffic out here goes through that show. Wack did that. But they say the New York is mad at me now for doing that. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, right? Keep it yeah. real, right? Yeah. I think this is a great, <clears throat> a great lesson for those people that ain't start gang banging or ain't got in the streets, right? Because what happened is this: Troy can say what he want to say, but he know what this is, and it ain't no picking and choosing what it is because it's a bad day for you. So what I will say is, I believe personally that the street politics. It's all a bunch of bull, but this is what we accept when we come into it. And when you accept it, when you come into it, you know, the so-called rules say, this is what you got to do. So hopefully people can see that, all right, it's all fun and games, and it's cool, you know, when the sun is out. But it's some darkness with this. And when the darkness comes, if you want to you want to change and say, hey, I see it, this, I see it that way, it's the backlash you're going to get. Not only that, but like, you know, you hear him speak about like, you know, being with his crew and being with a team that he thought was with him. And, you know, you guys are all down for, you know, the good times. But when it hits the paint and when the, you know, funk hits the fan, it's like you're looking around and those people are not, they don't have the same brave heart as you. They don't have the same, you know, mindset as you. They they already got their foot out of out of the situation saying, oh, whoa, 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 this ain't, I ain't, I ain't got no heart for this. I ain't a part of this. I ain't seeing myself sitting down for this long and now you're the only person with this mindset and that happens to a lot of people more people than even this situation would show is a lot of people outside who run with crews and then when you go down you realize that those people don't have the same heart that they presented themselves to have <clears throat> you end up usually only finding that out when you sit in front of the judge or when you sit in jail and you look around and it's just you uh, see the one dude though he ain't like that anyway. His manager, he ain't like that. Jovain had a gun charge. Dude, he got right? he yeah. Jovain had a gun charge. He got he his his lawyer <coughs> yeah, got Jovain off a gun, off gun, gun charge. charge. Don't mean just because you got a gun yeah, charge. Yeah, he, he, Listen, he, he just because you like got that. a gun right. charge don't mean you like that. He was yeah, yeah, that. But again, these be the that's outside. Now, but hold on, see, and this is why what I tell hey look, your managing and my managing ain't the same. Cause you ain't gonna go. A lot of these managers, you gotta know when to tell your manager to stay home. But Everybody in the crew managers. ain't that. These ain't start out as managers. He made, he gave them those positions. And somebody said oh. that I'm speaking from, I'm speaking from a girlfriend perspective. I'm not speaking from a girlfriend perspective. The reality is, at the end <clears> of the day, no one is walking around with three guns in their waist. Like, come on, be realistic. No, 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 no that is a three reality. Guns. Like, no, so, no, 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 you're right about that. But so, that's yeah, no, the, the car, I'm just the re replying to what somebody name, right? said. Yeah. And so 
he would have then been a snitch if he would have said, no, this is this person's and this person's and then this No, what he's saying is somebody's supposed to claim something. That's what that's what Definitely. his perspective is. So there's a lot of people saying that oh he's trying to blame guns on us or he was expecting Hova somebody to take the fall. We all moving around together. We all working. We all walking around with some together. I got caught with it. I'm not about to tell them that it belongs to anybody else. But I expect as the person again as the breadwinner and the person who's making the money for us that other people would step up and say yo let's distribute this. I'm gonna keep it real. In our crew, everybody know what their assignment is. Everybody nice. know who got to ride it. Everybody know who got to go. Everybody know who got to cover the artist when we go. Thanks. Exactly. Straight up. So if, if they, they wasn't running their team like that, you know, it's like if something happened. I don't expect my artists. Now, the problem, I, I don't expect my artists to be in the middle of it. It's two, three. Y'all job ain't even to be in the middle of it. Y'all job is to get, take him the opposite direction. Now, my problem is, all my artists think they me. They go. That's the only problem I got. Look, bro, just because you grew up in the projects or the ghetto, just because you grew up over there because your mom and daddy and your grandmama was broke, don't make you a street. What makes you a street that entered them streets and he followed me up under that street code. You were just a broke, poverty-stricken kid. And a lot of y'all be calling yourself that because you grew up in these areas. If you didn't fall up under that script, and I'm hearing a lot of y'all say that you you be telling on yourself, bro. But I think he woke up when he said, I ain't taking my man's murder case. I ain't killing him. That's out. I just think he woke up. And I'm going to be real. If I look up and I see Troy Ave running around here the way he used to, which I don't see that, I'm going to say, Troy, you on board. But long as he continue his route, what he on, I'm going to say that. No, he did what he was supposed to do, but then change his direction and he headed somewhere else. And if he keep going the direction he headed, he ain't gonna worry about getting at anybody what he did anyway. Because when you get to the top of that mountain, the street ain't up there anyway. Yeah, not even close. They can't even look up there. Yeah, <laughs> they don't even matter. Down, like, they can't even look as, up yeah, there. As long as he keep doing what he's supposed to do, he gonna end up somewhere where it don't matter anyway. It don't matter. So did he make the right decision? for his overall which i keep hearing him reference his children right and his career and all that for his overall i feel he made the right decision for his reputation as a street i feel he made the wrong decision but i think his direction the way he moving is away from the reputation of the street so he don't care about that anyway all right y'all there it is man for anybody that's been a loyal supporter, y'all hear me talk about this all the time. The street code is foolish, though. Get a job, get a trade, stay in school. If you got to feed your family and you got to go the other way and, and do certain things to make it happen, all right, but come on, man. We got the internet now. Go get that bread, man. This ain't the 80s and 90s. This ain't where there was no options. There's options, though, even if you got that thing on your record. Anyway, man, I ain't trying to preach, but... Um, I appreciate all the support. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, The Answer Man. Find me on Clubhouse. Till next time, we out.